fly away This is the door that we come in. <laughs> Just running around. It's absolutely beautiful, absolutely stunning. We have really lucked out with this place. So this is John on my bedroom, and then we've got a little blanket there for Maisie. So this is the newer part of the long house. It's really lovely, and then a really nice modern bathroom as well. Hasn't flushed the toilet. Oh, isn't that gorgeous? Just give you a quick glance at the garden. So we got a huge hot tub, seating area, and then all this garden up here. It's all fenced off, so perfect for Maisie. She can just go out whenever she wants. So yeah, really lovely. It's, um, as you can imagine, as tall people, <laughs> we we'll have to put our heads down. What do you think of this, Maisie? You love it, don't you, babes? Bearing in mind, this longhouse was built around 1650 to 1700, so it's a couple of years, 100 years old. Obviously, we're here, Jasmine's birthday weekend. She hasn't opened her presents yet. They've just gone to the shop to get some extra things. But yeah. Just scan, scan around. What's going on, Maze? It's a massive table. We've just had some food. And yeah, look at this here. Isn't that beautiful? Look at it. <gasps> okay, so kitchen. I need to do a bit of hygiene up there. Yeah, it's got everything we need, which is handy. This is our living room. Look at the paint. Oh, really, really cozy room. And yeah, all in here are DVDs and games, etc. And yeah, log fire. And in there, there's lots of logs we can use. But look at this. Look at this. Now, there used to be a light in here, but it's not working. This is part of the original wall. And it's got a painting of a fish. I am desperate to know the history of this house. See what I can find out from the owner. Look at it, look at it. Hey, amazing moo. You good girl. You're waiting for Dad and Jasmine. Okay, show you the kids' bedrooms. There's another bathroom then. Here we go. The floors are all. <laughs> it feels like I'm going to fall through them. But you're not, obviously. But yeah, really nice bathroom there. Love these doors. Then going into Oliver's bedroom. Look. It is so, so nice. Really nice and airy. Bit of a scan through. Really small windows, obviously, because we're in like the attic. Two single beds there, really comfy. We've all had a lie on them. And I'll show you along. Look. A little cute. I'm leaning down now on the floor. Gorgeous little window. I think the owners live over there. I think so. It's a massive house. We haven't seen them. They just left the key in here for us. That is just absolutely beautiful. John and I are like, um, Jess, can you stop? No. <laughs> You can see through. Woo, hello, can you see my feet? <laughs> you can see through. Again, gorgeous views there. I have never stayed in a place like this before. 
It is just, oh my gosh, it is just stunning. Yeah. It is so, so beautiful. Radiators, no sewing machine. <laughs> the beams, the floors are all like, all like, like wonky. Look. Oh, it's absolutely beautiful, isn't it? Stunning, stunning, stunning. <laughs> as well which is so nice and a terry's chocolate orange some gower cottage brownies and i'll show you what they look like yum 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 i still believe i'll see you again just woken up it's nine o'clock in the morning i've been awake for a long long time it feels like i haven't slept much at all but um yeah <laughs> i kept on waking up in the middle of the night and i'm sure i just watched too many par paranormal films because <laughs> i kept on thinking to myself i'm not gonna open my eyes just in case someone is staring at me so silly. I've never stayed in a house that is, you know, a good couple of hundred years old. So it's a little bit new for me. <laughs> but yeah, everyone else is awake. I just need a cup of tea and some toast will wake me up. But yeah, today it's quite cloudy outside. But it's supposed to be nicer. It's supposed to be sunnier as the day goes on and warmer as well. I'm going to go out there afterwards. John says that there's some ducks on the pond. So I'm going to see if I can spot them. John's going to go cycling tomorrow. Ooh, mind my head. <laughs> Where are they? I think they're all watching telly. Hello. You're the first one to come see me. Hello, baby. Hello. Do you hear mum talking? Did you hear mum talking? What? Still not sure of this place, are you? Still not sure. Who's there? Who's coming? Who's that? Who's that? It's Jasmine! Is it Jasmine? <laughs> I know, it's exciting, isn't it? <laughs> as well as the Prosecco that we had last night, they also left us this Barabruf, which is a gorgeous, gorgeous Welsh cake. So we're going to take that home with us. And they left the chocolate orange. I haven't had one of these for a long, long time. Which is lovely. If you're looking for an authentic Welsh house, <laughs> they like chaff. That's milk. What else we got down here? Keggin means kitchen. I think that's all. The Welsh things here, so sheep. A gegin vach daclis. That means the small, clean kitchen. In Gumri Venidig, Paradus o Barth, Pub Duffrin, Pub Clogai, in Golug Sith Harth, Troy Dimlad, Gwil Garol, Mor Swinol, 
you see a nentive avonid imi. I haven't got a clue what that means. I know some words, but um, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> it's a long time since I spoke Welsh, really. But it, yeah, I love this kitchen. I love this kitchen. I need to find out what this is here. This solid piece there. Burida. Everyone knows that one. <laughs> Burida. What does Cadur Gan and Di Galon a Croeso a Di Alwid? Croeso is welcome. Cadur Gan, keep the song in your heart. Yeah. And welcome. Hot. Happy. And Croeso a Di Alwid. 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 I'm not sure. Okay. The kids and John have just gone off for a walk with Maisie around the area here. We've got free reign for walking around acres and acres of land if we want to. I haven't been out yet. I've been pottering around here, I've had a shower, tied my hair up out the way, ready for the hot tub later on. And the plan now is to go to New Quay, which is around say 15, 20 minute drive away. This is first time in New Quay and Jasmine can't remember going to New Quay, but Ollie and I went a couple of months ago. <laughs> Maisie's going to look for me, I can see her. Hello, Kelly. <laughs> Maisie. Just about see her. <laughs> So we're just going to spend a couple of hours there and then we're going to come back hot tub time and then we booked a meal out in a restaurant nearby see i'll take you along with me hello we are looking for me you're looking for mom you didn't know where oh hello jesse chance to vlog around New Quay but I was mesmerized by the bottlenose dolphins they're beautiful so now we're gonna head back to our cottage we just came to our on just to go to a bar really have a drink but we ended up sitting down waiting half an hour and no one came so we just got up and left went and got a honey ice cream which is quite famous in our 
is boiling hot. We are absolutely boiling. So we're gonna go back now to our cottage and then we're gonna go into the hot tub. But the hot tub was nearly 40 degrees last night and it was just too hot for us. So we're gonna see if we can um, bring that down a bit <laughs> just to cool down. It is hot, 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 it is 39 degrees and I'm the only one in here. We could do with a shade actually, it'd be really nice to have shade behind us. Maybe I'll get John, there's no one sat and sitting over there, I'll get John to put the umbrella behind me. Maybe that might be better, but yeah, what's this? Just found this in the hot tub. Haven't got a clue what it is. You don't know. I'm going to attempt to sit down. <laughs> it's not that bad, it's just so warm. <laughs> oh, where's the seat? Look at me, directly facing the sun. This is no good, is <laughs> it? No, I'm gonna have to move. I can't stay like this. I've um, brought this shade over, but it's just resting. <laughs> so the slightest bit of wind and it'll fall. But look, the sun is right behind there. So I'm hoping as the sun goes down a little bit, then the rest of the pool then <laughs> will be in the shade. <laughs> yeah, I'm the only one out. Listen to the birds. Ooh, I hope that doesn't vibrate the hot tub so that the <laughs> so that the umbrella falls loving this it feels cooler now <laughs> okay happy <laughs> so all i need is a drink that's all i need is a drink now maybe i'll text john <laughs> to bring something out to me back in the hot tub again <sighs> I'm not sure how much you'll be able to see of me in here, but we went out for a meal in a pub called The Daffodil, and it was really, really nice, really lovely. And they were so sweet to Maisie as well. We had a little corner table. But yeah, definitely, if you're in this area, definitely go to The Daffodil, it's near Horeb. So it took us about, what, 15 minutes or so to drive there from this um, cottage. So it's just myself and Oliver. Hello. In the hot tub. And it's really pretty. It's really pretty, we've just put color changing lights on. <laughs> Took the cover off just now. And as I was about to put it on the floor, I saw an animal in the corner and I couldn't work out what it was. It could be a rat, it could be a mouse, a frog even. It looked quite fat. So we're, we're in farmland, farmland, so rats aren't that too far away from us, but you know, it's unlikely to climb up the side and jump in with us. <laughs> but no, so we're just chilling out. Yeah, it's so nice. Can you see over there? Oh. It's really, really peaceful, isn't it? Mm -hmm. You can see our feet. It's now about 11 o'clock. It is so peaceful here. I'm the only one outside watching the swallows go to their nests. And I'm sure I just saw a big kite go down behind the long house. So I'm on the lookout. There's lots and lots of kites around this area. This is our last day. 
So we're all just chilling out. Is Dad come back, Maze? Where's Dad? Hello? Hello. How is it? Hot. It is boiling here. 5 degrees, 26 degrees halfway around. Oh my god. And I lost my litre of water after the first five miles. And Maisie's not allowed upstairs. <laughs> She's looking at me down there. No, dogs can go anywhere in this property, but they're not allowed on uh, any chairs and they're not allowed upstairs on the beds and not in our bed as well in the barn area. So, how's Jasmine looking after her room? Oh, it's such a gorgeous room. <laughs> okay, typical teenager. Like, what are you doing in my bedroom? Open the curtains. Let the gorgeous views come in, Jasmine. I would be quite happy sat there with a book, chilling out. Yeah. The floor goes down. <laughs> no. Look at this. Look at this. Let me climb on the bed. Is that what it originally looked like? I don't know. <gasps> surprise, surprise. Curtains. Clothes. <laughs> Let the light in, kids. Let the light in. Look. Beautiful, beautiful views. Oh, my word. It feels like I'm going to fall through. as well. What's the matter, amazing Moo? What's the matter? That room is definitely the coolest in the house, isn't it, babes? I love these. I think they are really, really cool. Yeah. Everyone loves sitting here. It's a gorgeous, gorgeous room, but yeah, everyone loves sitting here. Besides, you near the Wi-Fi and plugs, but lovely view out there. But also, you know, stunning view in here as well. Now this is boiling. This is boiling hot, and it is twenty-five degrees. <laughs> outside it's so no wonder I'm walking around sweating like a pig <laughs> constantly having to um, wipe my brow now I'm not sure if I've mentioned this before Probably. but <laughs> <laughs> I'm five foot nine and I have to duck on these doors <laughs> oh this little spider there Hi. I have to duck especially this one as well this is her feeding station is it amazing moo? It's okay, it's just hot tub, darling. I've been sat there most of the morning, which is lovely, nice and cool. So John is going to go now and get some barbecue food, so we're going to have a barbecue tonight. We haven't ventured far, just up the lanes, take Maisie, oops, sorry. Video and her having a toilet. <laughs> That's where the owners live, over there on that farm. So this used to be thatched at one point. is a huge house and I'd imagine if there were two more people it can sleep six I still think that it wouldn't feel like we were on top of each other you know it is huge you want to be in my video don't you do you want to say anything about the forestry Brechfa forest I've never been clearly you lost your water, didn't you? Yes, thank you, Master. <laughs> Doesn't want to talk. So I'm looking up online and I found some information about this Welsh longhouse. It says, Rusan Ichav is a historic grade two listed Welsh longhouse, which has been sympathetically restored to a lux luxurious standard 
while still keeping a lot of its original features, including oak beams, floorboards, original wall paintings dating back to 1700, and large flagstones and tiles. I'm gonna set up a barbecue, got some beers and wine, pop for the kids, and we're gonna make some burgers and some hot dogs as well. You gotta help me disappear From all those voices that I fear And all the moments I can handle cause I'm different You have to promise to stay near Oh, you're always telling me the truth That's why I lean on you You got the mind to see what's coming You're my ears when I can't hear You know what's right from wrong What to say and what to wear You know there's more than I can bear mm -hmm. You're always telling me the truth That's why I lean on you about to leave nine o'clock in the morning and we've had to strip our beds and put our towels there all of us okay 